Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of Try Hack Me. Today we're gonna do command injection. So hope you like guys like the last video cross site cross site scripting. I reset it. Let's get uh, right into it. Command injection. Learn about vulnerability allowing allowing you to execute commands through a vulnerable app and its remediation. So just to let you know, guys, uh, I'm just going to show you how to answer these task questions. As always, I recommend to read through each task so you get a full understanding what the room is all about. So task one is introduction. What is command injection? It talks about and explain what command injection is. And the question says, read me below. So you just need to complete it. And let's go task two, discovering command injection. Now the question is, is answer questions below, what variable stores the user's input in the PHP code snippet in the task? So it talks about getting input. And as you can see, you click get because you're stores input right is it no actually that's number two well answer number two what p what http method is used to retrieve data submitted by a user in the php code snippet let's get and what variable stores the user input in the php code snippet store i believe is right here title this application used this input dollar sign and title. Okay. The type of or copy and paste. And the last question is, is if I wanted to execute the ID command in the Python code snippet, what route would I need to visit? So this one, you just got to kind of read through the snippet. And I remember it's pretty much the command slash IP. Oh, ID, my bad. There you go. Task three, exploiting command injection. So we're talking about different ways of using command injection, blind and verbose. Then there's Linux payload description and Windows payload description. What payload answer questions below? What payload will I use if I want to determine what user the application is running as? So I believe it's this one running the who I am command to see what user application. Let's see who am I? And next question, what popular network tool would I use to test for blind command injection on a Linux machine? That would be blind connection, command injection, ping. What payload would I use to test a Windows machine for a blind command injection? So Windows and it says right here, timeout. All right, task for remediating command injection. So this talks about preventing command injection, different ways, vulnerable functions, input sanitation, bypassing filters. And the question is, what is the term for processing of cleaning user input that is provided to an application? And obviously it's sanitation so there you go uh, task 5 practical command injection so it says deploy the machine it's, so I already deployed it so I'm going to show a split view and it says test some payloads on the application host on the website visible in the split screen View to test for command injection, refer this cheat sheet you're stuck and wish to explore. Okay, so let's do the first question. What user is 
this application running as. So, so it's already have the IP and see, I already did it before. So it's who I am or, and who I am, but you go back. Where is it? Chrome. So you see, you see right here, input annotation, it talks about an input field, except new world data, remove any special. So what you do is what users who am I, right? So it doesn't work. See, nothing pops up, but you put and who am I? It's this one, data. And then it says, what are the contents of the flag located in slash home slash try hack me slash flag dot text file? So you learn Linux, it's cat, right? So as I already did, it, it says right here, if you try just this one, nothing happens. But if put this input, that's what it shoots out. And task six conclusion, terminate the Volvo machine from task five. There you go guys, pretty simple. Share your award badge, or you could share Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn as I already share on my LinkedIn. You could terminate this and click learn. And yeah, if you find this video helpful, guys, please give a thumbs up, a like button, hit the subscribe, uh, hit the notification button, and comment below to let me know how to improve these videos. And I uh, hope you like this video. As um, as I always say, uh, I do not have IT experience right now, but this is something I like to do uh, on my own time and my money. So thanks for watching. and. Uh, Till next time.